Hey, what's up everybody? So this is a quick video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change the configuration for MySQL when you're using MAMP to where instead of giving you error messages, it gives you warnings. And that would be exactly how it works in Colt Steele's Ultimate MySQL Bootcamp on Udemy. So if you're coming from that course and you switch to using PHP MyAdmin for your MySQL queries, then you may come across this issue and want to know how to fix it. So let's say we go into this database uh, cats right here and we run some SQL. And so this is just inserting a name and age into cats. But as you can see, the age is a uh, string of text as opposed to a number. And so if we click go, then we get an error, which is fine. But if you want it to perform the same way that it acts in the course, the way that Colt does it, technically what would happen is you would get uh, the insert would work it would go into the database it wouldn't insert the text XYZ it would just give you zero and then it would give you a warning and you type in show warnings so if you want your MySQL to perform and behave the same way that's what we're gonna do in this video so well, let me show you something real quick and that is we've got MAMP started here and that's how we're able to use uh, the PHP my admin if you want to run MySQL from your terminal then you can do that once you have MAMP installed. So I can show you how. So if I go to my code editor over here, this is VS Code, and I pull up my terminal, I'm using bash. You could use command line or bash, it doesn't really matter. The first thing you wanna do is figure out where the MySQL file lives. So you'll open up your finder, you'll go to your C drive, go to MAMP, bin, MySQL, bin, and then here it is, mysql.exe. So that's where it should be if you're on Windows 10 and you've installed MAMP. And so the easiest thing is just to copy this path up here and then paste it in into your code editor and then do another backslash because we're in Windows and do mysql.exe. Now if you press enter, it's gonna tell you command not found and that's because we're in bash, right? And so you have two options. You can double escape these backslashes or you can just convert them all to forward slashes which is what Bash is going to understand because it's like a Unix terminal. So if you hit enter now, it says access denied for and then some random user. So what you want to do is dash U and then whatever your username is and then dash P and whatever your password is. And obviously this is not secure, but it's just local. So I'm not worried about exposing my credentials. So dash U root dash P root. There's no spaces between dash U for username and dash P for password. And then you just put with the username and password and if I press enter it gives me the shell now you can put this inside of like a bash RC script to where you just type my SQL and then it does the rest for you uh, I'm not going to go into that in this video that's just showing you that you can run the my SQL that comes with MAMP from your terminal you can do the same thing from the command line or if you're using git bash or if you're using sigwin or any of those other terminals you just basically type in the entire path to the mysql.exe file and then make sure you include these flags for the username and password. So inside of here, everything you do here is going to be just like Colt does it in the course, right? So you use the cat's database, database changed, and then if you want, you can type in this query here. Don't forget your semicolon at the end. And it gives you the error, right? And it doesn't insert it. All right, so the same issue that's happening here is happening over here, right? They're giving us an error. Instead, we want them to actually insert the incorrect data and give us a warning that we have to pull up with the show warnings command. So the easiest way to do that is to find what's called a my.conf file, but or my.cnf, but that is not what it's called on Windows. On Windows it's called a my.ini file. And so in order to find that, you'll open the folder here and go up to the MAMP directory. So C drive MAMP. And right here in your search, you're just gonna search for my Dot I and I. So that's my.ini. So give it a second to find that file. And there it is. So it's inside of the conf, so the configuration folder. So if you right click it and open it with your code editor, now you get this file my.ini. So there's a bunch of different configuration settings in here. These are settings for uh, system variables. And this one, this little section with the brackets for MySQL D, 
That's what we're interested in. So right beneath where we have MySQL D inside of brackets, we're gonna do a new one called SQL underscore mode space equals space. And then we're going to change the SQL mode because that's the whole thing that's going on here is the version of MySQL that MAMP is using is gonna have a strict MySQL mode and we want it to have a different one. And so first we need to figure out what the current MySQL mode is. And to get that, we just do a select. I'm down here inside of the MySQL shell at at sql underscore mode semicolon and press enter and here it gives it to us you can do the same thing from over here press go and it's going to give it to you here uh, you may not see the entire output you might have to go to options and change it from partial text to full text and then click go and then you have to copy this entire thing okay so again that was just up here in sql you just type in uh, select at at SQL underscore mode and then press go or if you're trying to follow along like I'm doing over here in the code editor with my shell you do the same command and it gives you this output so we want to copy this output here go back up to where we're editing this Mida INI file in our code editor go that line right underneath the bracket MySQL D where we have our SQL underscore mode is equal to and then we paste that in and everything in here is fine except for this strict trans tables so we want to get rid of that also if you don't like only full group by that's not part of this lecture but if you decide that you don't like the only full group by uh, constraint you can also remove that as well but for now we'll go ahead and leave it and visit that at another time so again we just removed strict trans tables and then that extra comma you save this file these changes are not going to take effect right away so you can go run this again you can see that strict trans tables is still there you have to go over to MAMP stop your servers which is going to stop the MySQL server and then when it's done start it again and then down here this connection may need to be reset in the shell but let's just try it yeah so it tells you lost your connection so I'm going to go ahead and exit and re-enter here and then we'll just do select at at sql underscore mode and there's only full group by but then there's no more uh, strict trans tables and that's what we're looking for so that's good again you can test it over here if you wanted to uh, just go over to your php my admin and do a select at at and then it's sql underscore mode and press go and you can see only full group by, but then no more strict trans tables. All right, so right away, if we're inside the cats database here, and we go to SQL, and we go grab that query that was giving us trouble to begin with, remember it gave us an error last time. This time if we run it, it actually inserts the row, but notice right here, it gives us a warning. So you don't actually have to type show warnings in phpMyAdmin, it's gonna show it to you right away. So it says, hey, you've got an incorrect integer value, string value XYZ for column age at row one. But if you go over to cats, you can see right here in this little table that there is a row with Lima as the name. And instead of having an age XYZ, it just gives it a default age of zero. So that's how you change the configuration. And that will persist every time you restart your server, every time you come back to PHP My Admin, you'll no longer have to deal with that. Again, if you are seeing this video and you think oh wow it'd actually be really cool to just do all the commands from the terminal like Colt does you can start the MySQL shell simply by navigating to the folder where it lives so C drive forward slash all caps map forward slash bin forward slash MySQL forward slash bin forward slash MySQL.exe space dash u for user and then the username space, space dash p for password and then the password and then you press enter boom, you're inside the MySQL shell. Okay, so you can show your databases. You can see that you've got the cats, so you can say use cats. And then here, we can go ahead and paste in that query again. Make sure you put your semicolon. The semicolons are not required over here in phpMyAdmin. It does it for you automatically, but down here in the shell, it is required. So press enter, and you'll see this time it says, uh, query okay, one row affected, one warning. So when you see that one warning, that's when you do the show warnings command and it tells you, hey, here's the warning, here's the code, here's the message. 
again, if you do a select all from cats, it's gonna give you the two that got inserted, but they don't have X, Y, Z as the age, they just default to zero. So I'll go ahead and clean this up, just delete from cats. That'll get rid of those two rows. And that's how you do it. If you decide later that you do want it to be in strict mode and you want to reverse what we just did, just go find that Mida INI file again, and then just take this line out. This entire SQL mode is equal to yada yada. And so you can change it to whatever you want. You could remove the only full group by, you could remove this all together and it would go back to the default for this version of MySQL because it's already set elsewhere in another configuration file. Or you can customize it to whatever you need it to be. So once you've saved this file, just make sure that you restart your MySQL server with MAMP. And then no matter how you access MySQL shell, whether it's here in your terminal or it's in the command prompt, or it's over here in the browser with PHP MyAdmin, you'll no longer get the instant errors. It won't abort the query, it'll actually run it, and it'll just insert default values for whatever it can't figure out, uh, like the age trying to get a uh, string, it'll give it a integer instead. So hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.